Hi, Room 20. Today we're going to start Unit 6, Lesson 5, Part 2. In this part of the lesson, we're going to practice using word problems that involve groups of items. We're going to be looking for groups of hundreds, tens, and ones to decide how many somebody has. Let's start with the first problem. Xavier buys forks for a party. He divides them into two groups of 100 and five groups of 10. There are six forks left over. How many forks does Xavier buy for the party? So let's see what information we know. We know that Xavier puts them into two groups of 100. Now I'm going to use the space that I have to draw a quick picture. So he has two groups of 100. I decided to use my hundreds blocks for this. Next, it says he has five groups of 10. So I'm going to make five 10 sticks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Since the problem told me that they were groups of 10, I put them into tens. And last, there are six forks left over. Now these are just six random forks laying around. So I'm going to use my ones to represent those. Still using my good organizing. Now it's asking how many forks does Xavier buy for the party? So all I need to do in this case is add up how many he buys. I see I have 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, you don't have to write those numbers next to it. Some people just like to count up the number. But sometimes it's nice to show it in expanded form. So we have 200, 50, and 6, which means that Xavier bought 256 forks. He must be having some fancy party to have that many forks for it. There's definitely not just a few friends coming over. If you don't want to do a picture and you just want to do an equation, you can absolutely do that. As you're reading, you could write down the information that you know. Kind of like this in expanded form. That is also an option. Let's try another example of our group word problems. This one says, Alice has seven pencils. She buys three packages of 100 and six packages of 10. How many pencils does Alice have all together? So let's see what information we know. I like to start with the biggest amount, which are the hundreds. And it says that she buys three packages of 100. So there's one package two packages, three packages. And it says she has six packages of tens. So I'm going to draw six tens. And you might say, well, she doesn't have any ones, but if you remember the very first sentence, it says she has seven pencils. Those are just seven random pencils that are not in a package. So that would be our ones. Now that I have my drawing done, I can also do an expanded form. I see I have 300 plus, I have six tens, which is 60, plus seven ones. 300 plus 60 plus seven gives me 367 pencils. Don't forget your label when you're doing your work. 